You've had a serious car accident in Massachusetts and government officials are trying to use the event data recorder from your car against you. What happens next? Hi, I'm Steve Brooks and I'm a criminal defense attorney in Massachusetts with offices in Dedham and in Boston and I can answer your questions about EDRs or event data recorders. Some new vehicles have EDRs already installed on them. These EDRs are called event data recorders and they're similar to the black boxes on airplanes. The EDRs record speed of a vehicle, braking amount of a vehicle, and whether seatbelts were fastened at the time of an accident or a near accident. All of these items are recorded onto a small hard drive that's located underneath the car or in the drivetrain, sometimes underneath the seat. These EDRs do not record sound or telephone calls, but they record some of the events that happened right before a collision or near collision, and they help determine what might have happened to cause an accident. In order to obtain this data, the government needs a search warrant to seize the EDR and download the information using special software programs. Now this EDR information cannot typically be accessed by you because you need special software in order to read the information. For example, if you were cited for speeding, you wouldn't be able to simply unplug your EDR and download the information and use it to defend your case. It doesn't happen that way. Now you're looking at this video because you or someone close to you has had an issue with an EDR in the government. I can answer all of your questions about EDRs. We handle these cases all the time. But you need to call me. My number is 781-251-0555. My name is Steve Brooks and thanks for watching.